come to a cast being a ray cast look at the storage of files so files can be stored files can be stored A or cells. You can also store the files in drawers. Mm. You can also store them in the cupboards, in the cupboards, and also in cabinets. So in any of these cases, the files or folders can one stand on their spine or path They can also be hung from frames or nails. Also, they can be placed into suspended pockets. the files or folders are stored on shelves or in drawers or in cupboards they are stored in any of the following methods now let us look at the methods of storage so we have vertical We have horizontal, and also we have lateral. Those are the main methods which are being used in most organizations to store the files. So I start with the vertical filing. Filing is the method of storage used where files are placed on their spines in individual file pockets in drawers of a vertical filing cabinet. So, yeah, files are placed. you're using vertical filing method you must you must include the guide cards so guide cards are placed between the files or the documents so that you, you can easily find a particular file
Kita harus buka lebih lagi loh Natural files are placed side by side. Side, side from front to from front. Lateral filing, you place the, the files side by side from front to back. You cannot store them in the, the cabinet or drawer, you store them in the cells or the cupboard. Let us look at the horizontal. the files are stored flat on piles. The files are moved from files. So from bottom The files are stored in files from bottom to top. That is on stone top. These files are stored, they can be stored either centrally or each department can store their files. Those ones we call them filing system. two systems of firing. We have the centralized and we have the departmental firing. So for the departmental firing, departmental firing, the organization of the firing system is controlled within the organization and the individual department deals with its, with its own documents. So for example, if you have so many departments in an organization, each department files its own documents. That is departmental filing. Then for centralized filing, all files of the entire organization are kept in one department. All files of the entire organization are kept in one department. Mostly the department, we call it the registry. All the files are kept in the registry for those organizations which use centralized filing system. Let's look at the methods of classification. <laughs> Most organizations use various methods. They can mix them, but it's better to choose a method of filing. 
So we have six major methods of classification. We have alphabetical, Now, alphabetical is the use of letters. I, E, A, and C. We call it alphabetical. Then we have numerical. Numerical method is the use of numbers. Neurological is the use of dates. You, you find the documents according to the date when you received the document. That is chronological. Then we have geographical. Geographical is based on the areas. It can be counties, it can be towns. It is according to the area, geographical area. Then we have subject. Subject filing method. This one is based on the subject or the title topic. Then we have Alva Numerical. Now this is the combination of letters and numbers. Those are the methods which are used when classifying the records. I've given you the notes so that you can read and understand the advantages and disadvantages of each method of classification. Let us look at the factors which you consider when choosing a method of classification. Consider the quantity and the variety of documents that you file. Consider the quantity and the variety of documents to be filed. That's another factor. You must understand the number how many documents you are going to find and how many categories they rely on. Then you consider the equipment necessary for housing them. And 
also the space which can be occupied. Also they want the space to be occupied. Another factor which you are supposed to consider is the the operation, the ease of operation. So you have to understand the accuracy and the speed which is needed. And also you have to consider how regularly the, the document can be used. consider the usage of the documents. And also you can you can look at the retrieval dates, how easily the, the material is going to be retrieved or put in the file. the procedure of filing. So we have general rules for filing. One, you must file neatly. File neatly. A rule. Another one, ensure the correspondency is placed in the right on the correct side. Also, another rule is place the correspondency in the file in the correct sequence. So, if you have said you are using your logical, make sure. The, the documents which you received earlier, you file them, then followed by the others until the current, until the current document. Also, you are supposed to have void large part files. large part files in that the old documents is supposed to be placed in the dead files. Do not remove individual papers from a file. Remember if you remove an individual we remove an individual paper from a file, maybe it can get lost and you forget to, to return it in the right manner. Another rule, this we are supposed to follow, when there is insufficient correspondence from one source, to justify opening a new or individual file, it is important to put that document in a miscellaneous file.
put that document in a miscellaneous file. You must have a miscellaneous file where you put the correspondence, which are a few. It does not need a new file or a separate file. And also, if a file is temporarily removed from reference, complete an absence marker or a card. When you are removing a file, make sure you complete or you write a paper, write the name of that file on a paper, then place that paper where you removed that file from. Another rule is that make sure you file daily so that the filing system is always up to date. File daily so that the filing system is always up to, up to date. So next time we are going to learn about the communication services.